Hi Sagittarius, Sagittarius, welcome back. I'm Nan and this is Silky Intuitive. For this video we want to take a look at Sagittarius and their money. Uh, first we look at your career path and then we take a look at your money itself. After this video, <clears throat> you can go over, pardon me, to my Vimeo channel. And at my Vimeo channel, for 99 cents, I will be offering a small feature that talks about love and money and Sagittarius. And I also draw a life purpose oracle card or two. So, first, I've drawn an energy card. For Sagittarius, your energy card is transformation okay and I do see that transformation is absolutely something that many of my Sagittarius's are going through not only with your finances with your actual money but with your career path and the direction that you're taking in life now Sagittarius along with the transformation card here what we've got for you in your career path is the Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Fool. So, we'll start at the beginning, and what I'm seeing here is that uh, Sagittarius has gone through his his or her share of struggle. Uh, maybe competition in business. Uh, maybe you're in a very crowded field and you're fighting off the competition. But with the Ten of Swords, I see that um, if there have been any negatives in your path, on your career path, that those are now being lifted. The swords are being lifted from your back. Negative communications, negative thought patterns, negative energy that was once maybe troubling to you on your career path. Those energies are now coming to an end because with the Eight of Cups, we're walking away from it. We're walking away from something that is... disappointing. It can be a love relationship that went wrong. That is ending. That was the competition. But it's in your career path. Tells me that whatever road you're walking now, because you chose a new path in life, uh, on a personal level and a professional level for Many of you, it's going to be both. Um, there's a new plan, a new outlook, something new coming your way with the Ace of Wands. It's next to the Hierophant. Now, this can talk about a big, important job, something that is contractual. Um, or it can talk about the relationship or situation that you walked away from. Maybe something that you devoted yourself to. Maybe something that was um, emotionally fulfilling to you at one time, but you had to walk away because the situation was ending. Maybe it was the end of a contractual job that you had to walk away from because your contract was over. Maybe you tried to defend your position and attempted to stay where you were at, but it seems like you were almost driven out by almost negativisms. Because if this was a job that you left, something that had a contract behind it, you probably didn't leave under the best circumstances. But you decided to start something new. Maybe something independent. Maybe... This was a love relationship that came to an end. Something that was once fulfilling, but you walked away. But along that path, something new happens. And it 
it affects your career. With the Hierophant, though, it talks about, again, those agreements. It talks to authority. It talks to a higher power. It can talk to something that is beyond your control in a situation. Again, authority, I think, sometimes uh, with that card. But with the Three of Wands, this is a guy who looks over his golden desert and watches developments coming to him. So on your career path, I think it's connected to that Ace of Wands. But whatever you, you have moved out of and moved into a new phase in your life, um, <clears throat> new contracts coming your way, new money coming your way, even positions of authority can be coming to you. Now, with the Nine of Wands, this is about protection. Now, we could be saying that this guy, this man here, is standing in front of his wands because he's stepping forward now. He no longer has to stand behind his wall of defense. He's beyond that now. He's stepping past that now. And he can stand up just right. Uh, he can be upright in his own life. He can stand up justly for himself. I think this is part of the transformation. Is part of this um, uh, how do I want to say it? Because it's next to the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> A protection. And maybe you had to protect yourself from someone who has stolen you uh, or stolen from you in the past or deceived you in some way. It, that could be connected to this energy here, the walking away. Maybe what you were walking away from, maybe what you're transforming away from is this energy of deception. That is around a contract with someone. That deception is directly connected to a contract with someone. But that deception is coming to a certain end. Now, we also have the fool taking a chance. During this period of time, Sagittarius, we're looking at a chance. For some people, it may be a chance that uh, was uh, reckless, almost careless for someone. Someone may have taken a huge chance with their life in, on the career path in order to walk in a new direction after a time of conflict, of maybe thievery, deception, whatever this is, the deception may be connected to an authority figure. It's very hard to say uh, exactly what the deception is, except for one person has decided to walk away, take a chance, this person does it independently, though. So that's why I think maybe, for some of you, the transformation not only happened on a business level, but on a personal level. And the transformation is possibly, very possibly, a complete transformation of oneself. Now, pardon me. I have, I have to have a sip of my favorite tea, pardon me. Oh goodness, that's good. All right. Now, let's talk about your money, your finances. First we have, <clears throat> pardon me, the two of diamonds, the jack of hearts, the eight of hearts. The Three of Diamonds, the King of Spades, the Ten of Hearts, the Joker, the Six of Diamonds, and the Two of Spades. So I'm just going to tell you basically what I think the energies are here. <clears throat> first, let's bring about the Joker. Let's talk about the Joker first. Because there's a little bit of explanation that goes with the Joker. 
I call him the Clark Kent card. He's the guy who is strong and capable, a little bit maybe restrained, but when faced with a challenge, he leaps forward, he goes into action, and he has the ability to create and to accomplish a huge amount. Whatever comes at him, he can tackle it and more during the month of October. So I see that Sagittarius, absolutely, if you're creating something new and that's the chance you're taking, it's part of your transformation, you are going to be busy. First, let's address the guy at the very center, the king of spades. He talks about a king that's been through a lot, but he builds on the things that he has learned. Now he is looking at expanding. Whatever is happening for my Sages right now, there's a need for expansion for some of you. It talks about mastery, and I think that's why the Joker is here. That's why the Joker is so damn busy, because my Sagittarius's are just completely, completely saturated in mastering their skills. But they're going through some battles, and that's why he has a spade. That's why he has a sword, because he is fighting his way through something in order to reach a new level of accomplishment. He also talks about justice being received after a very long struggle. Now, with him, we've got the two of spades. Someone or something is being let go of, and that's what I see the walking away from here. It is very possible, a relationship, but it's a relationship that causes your life to transform. But we're separating from something that's not working for us or is not meeting our expectations. But we've got strength here. With the king of spades, he's all about strength. So we're sowing the things that we're reaping now. Or we're reaping what we have sown. What did I just say? I don't know. Okay, so we're emerging and we're growing now. Whatever we're working on, we're looking at growth with the Six of Diamonds. Okay, the Six of Diamonds is all about positive growth, rewards. It talks about stability. It is a great energy being put into something and an equal amount of energy coming out of it. All right, now we've got the three of diamonds. The three of diamonds is a huge win-win situation. What's going on for you now is also good for you or good for everyone around you, I should say. Uh, it's all for the better. Everything you do now has purpose. It's finding a new direction, a new path, and hitting the purpose of it. Not only accomplishing, but getting to the purpose of why it is that you, wh why it is that you're doing what you're doing. All of your choices now are going to be good. They're going to be positive. Because with the two of diamonds, you've <clears throat> met your perfect match. You may be working with a team or a partnership or on a new job. But whatever you're accomplishing, you have met your perfect match. It is what is ideally meant for you. So we are going to experience total manifestation with the Ten of Hearts. The Ten of Hearts says you're going to have great fulfillment through your work and your business along with balance in your private life and a great deal of harmony in your business life. Also, now, 
Listen up, guys. And this is where this next reading may come into play. Because if you have recently left a relationship and you're transforming your life, this is about relationships, like I said, love and money. This is saying that um, first with the Eight of Hearts, on your daily travels, on whatever it is that you're manifesting, you can expect to meet a new love. Whether you're expecting one, whether you're wanting one or not, a new love is going to show you a potential. This new love can come in the form of a new hobby, can come in the form that is something that is just fulfilling. Maybe you move to a new neighborhood and you decide, I'm going to join the local acting company. It can be that. But, like I said, just know you may be meeting a new love. We'll talk about that here. Whether you like it or not, new love may be coming your way. Now we have also the Jack of Hearts. He's a secret admirer. So when you meet this person, you may not know that there is someone there that uh, loves you whole bunches, a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. Somebody is aching to get warm with your form, honey. We're going to find out about that here in this reading. But just know, Sagittarius, somebody is coming around and they have got some serious feelings. Now, the thing about this secret admirer is their secret isn't really that much of a secret. They are going to be blatantly obvious about their growing affection for you. So, just so you know, uh, there's big love coming, whether you like it or not, whether you expect it or not, and this is going to be someone who really just can't keep their secret admiration, <laughs> so much of a secret. So, for this part of the reading, Sagittarius, and that could be part of the transformation too, by the way. But, if you want a reading meant just for you, my Weebly website, link is down below. Go to my website, pick a reading, contact me through the contact form, and let me know what you want. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can with an invoice. I'm getting very busy as I approach the holidays. I see I'm going to be very busy and I am now selling gift packages for the holidays at that website. Go check it out. Um, now, if you want to go over to Vimeo, 99 cents, get the love reading, get a life purpose uh, oracle reading with it. And uh, until the next time, Sagittarius, Thank you again. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And peace.